Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and this video will be a continuation to Karate Framework playlist. In this video, we will learn data driven approach in Karate Framework. So we are going to learn data driven in Karate Framework in two videos. In the first video, I will cover the basics of data driven testing and then in the next video, I will cover how to achieve data driven in Karate using JSON and CSV and some advanced concepts. When we test a flow with different set of values that is called data driven. Suppose create airline API. It takes a payload and if you pass all the values correctly, then you will get the airline created. But the behavior might change when you pass different set of data. It might get some error message when you are not passing all the data or some different behaviors. I will create a scenario. Suppose I have some variables. Let me create a first name and I am going to have a value Amod. Another one I will have a integer for that I can use the ID and let me store 100 and I will have another variable and this will hold a boolean value. Let me print these values. I will quickly run this scenario and here you can see it is printing first name id and is manager but suppose i want to run these steps for multiple set of data so one option you have create multiple scenarios with different set of data but that is not a feasible thing instead of creating multiple scenarios with different set of data we can use something data driven here so to achieve data driven instead of scenario i need to use the outline it is same thing whatever we have in cucumber we need to provide a table called examples and here i need to give the rows and columns in simple words we need to define the variables which I want to use in my step. So suppose I am going to have some variable first name, then ID, then manager. You can give any name. These are the column names. And for each column name, we are going to have values. Maybe for the first thing, we need to use Amud. ID, I will use 100 and manager will be false. So actually, this is one set of data. In the same way, I can pass multiple set of data another row here and I can change the value. Now I need to say where I need to use these column names in my step. If the cell value is a string, then so use the quotes, use the angular brackets and pass the column name which is fn. Since id is an integer value, I need to use only angular brackets and give the column name. Same thing for manager because it is a boolean value. So what is basically we are doing here? I am saying that read the value for these variables from the example table. So for the first time, it will feed these values. For the next iteration, it will feed these values. So this scenario will run twice because we have two set of data here. If you have n, then it will run n times. Let me quickly run this scenario and show you the output. So left hand side, you can see it has been executed twice. And here you can see it is printing details are first time for Amod and for the next time it is printing for the anime. If you see the scenario description, it is giving basics of data driven for both the scenarios. But if you want scenario name based on what data you pass, so you can use any variable here as well. You can simply use the angular brackets and give the any variable. If you have here, you can pass here or you can have something like scenario name and you can pass it here. So it will print basics of data driven Amud and for the next one basics of data driven for animes. I will simply add a new word for. You can use it in any way. This is good for the reporting purpose. Let me run and show you how it is giving the different scenario outline description for each row. So here you can see it is giving basics of data driven for Amud, basics of data driven for animes. Let me show you some more examples. Let me put non string values in single quotes and rerun it. So basically you can see we are not seeing any error here, but it has changed the type. All the values it is considered as string. Let me show you by providing a proof here. Suppose if you want to check what is the type of a variable means here I will the match keyword and I will say that first name should be a string. So for that we have something called fuzzy matches which I need to cover. So since I'm using match, so I need to use double equal and use the single code, use the hash and pass the string. So this statement says that verify whether the first name consists of value which is of type string. Same thing if I want to do for numbers and booleans we need to have another fuzzy matches like has numbers has boolean let me quickly do it for other two let me run this so here you can see both the rows are failed and it's saying that 
आई डी इज नॉट इक्वल टू नंबर सो एज सुन एज दिस फेल इट विल नॉट एग्जीक्यूट दिस वन बट इफ आई कमेंट दिस लाइन एंड री रन इट विल गिव मी द सेम एर फॉर द बुलियन बिकॉज दिस इज मैनेजर इज नाउ स्ट्रिंग बिकॉज वी आर पासिंग द कॉलम नेम इन सिंगल कोड सो कराटे इज कन्वर्टिंग दोज वैल्यूज टू स्ट्रिंग डेट्स वाई आई नीड टू यूज विदाउट कोड वन मोर थिंग यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर इट विल नॉट स्टॉप एग्जीक्यूटिंग other rows if one row is failed now let's see another scenario so here i was using in variables but suppose we have a json payload and here i want to use my column name so let me quickly create a scenario so in this scenario instead of variables i have the json payload and now i want to feed these column names in my json so the basic rule is same whatever we discussed above since name is a string i am going to use the quotes use the angular bracket and use the column name for the id i need to use only the column name same thing for each manager because it is a boolean value let me run this scenario and we can see it should feed the values from the examples table here you can see it is feeding the value for amboth and for the next time it is printing the value for animes in karate framework for the data driven approach we have some magic variables so we have two magic variables underscore underscore row and another underscore underscore num underscore underscore row will give you the current row as a json object and underscore underscore num will give you the current index means if you are running this one that will give the index as 0 when it will run this one that will give the index as 1 let me quickly print and show you let me quickly run this scenario so for the first row you can see it is printing the value which is underscore underscore row and underscore underscore num is 0 for the first row for the second one you can see it is printing twice one we have print json doc another we have print underscore underscore row and here we are getting one for the underscore underscore num so if you want to put some logic based on which data it is running and you know that that data is at index n then you can have some logic here if you see the output carefully for the json doc we are getting the values properly like for the name we have string value for the integer we have integer value and for the boolean we have boolean value but when we are printing underscore underscore row it is not giving in proper format you can see for all three keys it is giving a string value only and this is happening only for the print underscore underscore row so if you want that it should keep the actual value for the underscore underscore row variable for that we need to use exclamation mark with the column name means after the column name just give the exclamation mark same thing for manager because these two are non string values if i run the scenario now it will not convert the non string value to string let me run and show you now you can see it is giving the same set of data so there is one another important concept which is called auto variables means whatever row we are executing these values are available in the variables named these column names i am going to print fn print id print manager we don't have these variables right and we are not using any angular brackets but what is happening in auto variables these values will be available for the variables with the same name if i run it it will print me the values here you can see it printing the values for the variables we have not defined these variables explicitly but it is coming because of auto variable concept since we have some variables and we know that we can feed those variables in a json payload or anywhere you want that is called embedded expressions in karate framework that i have covered previously so instead of using this angular brackets i can use the embedded expressions as well for that i need to use has and parenthesis give the variable name which is fn same thing here and here thumb rule is same again we are not using the code for the embedded expressions if the values are non string i have not used the single quotes or double quotes for id and is manager fields let me run this and you can see it will feed the values for the json object so here you can see it is feeding the value using the embedded expression features we can remove the empty values or null values that means if i remove 100 from here means i am not passing id same thing i am not passing the major value for the second row so means if you are not passing any value that field should be removed from my json payload let me run this and so for the first row it is giving id as null because we have not provided the id here same thing for the second row each major field it is passing as null 
because we have not passed the value here but what i want if you don't pass any values then that field should be removed for that we have a feature in embedded expressions if you want null value should be removed i need to use two hash if i run this time it will remove those null values so here you can see for the first one it removed the id for the second one it removed the id major field because both are null same thing will not work with the angular brackets that's why embedded expressions are really helpful here so when we don't pass the values for some columns how underscore underscore row method will behave let me print that and show you so for the first one you can see it removed from the json doc but underscore underscore raw wherever printed null key as well same thing for the second row here it is printing manager as null so it will be removed from the json doc but this magic variable will keep the actual value let me quickly show you if i don't pass id here and i am using the angular one if i run this one you can see it will not remove the empty values or null values so here you can see it as given the empty id suppose we have a variable maybe something is random name and i can give any value here you can have any expression which can give you some random names and that random name you want to use in the examples table for that also we can use the embedded expression so if i want to use random name for that i need to use as parenthesis give the variable name that's all so for the first row it will feed the amud let me run and show you so if i go to my first row data here you can see instead of amud it is giving the same value whatever i am passing from here why it is happening because if i using any embedded expressions in the examples table then you cannot use embedded expressions here as well we need to use the angular brackets if i run now this time it will get the value from my random name let me run and show you so you can see it is giving the amud this time so that's all in this video in the next video i will cover to achieve the data driven using the json and csv file if you have any doubt please comment on this video if you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone